Shalom, shalom. This is Brother M1 from GMS London Forecast is coming to you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give all praises on that and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors as always to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who grew well and taught us this truth. And peace and blessings to the Archim out there doing this work in truth and sincerity. And also to the Israelites from all tribes. From all nations that believe on the word of Yahweh Bashami or Shai, that are destined for salvation. So, I'm going to do just a short little video here, uh, just because you know they're starting to turn up the heat now, and you've got all these uh, politicians, these lapdogs, puppets. That's not they're nothing more than wicked demons that are. Under the manners, under manners, basically by these uh, elites, man, doing their bidding. All right, they stand up there like they're um, in control, but they're just doing what they're told to do. And they have no morals, no ethics, and no um, integrity. You know, uh, New Zealand's Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, you know, if it is a woman. Uh, has is now bringing out you know new mandates that everyone must be uh, have must have had the the, um, the the serpents juice by a certain date I believe it's somewhere in January. Uh, they're doing it in Chicago. Uh, they're going to try doing it in New York. They're doing it in Australia, Germany, Austria I believe. So there's plenty of places that are following suit. It's gonna it's coming to a, a country. A state, a city, a town, whatever you want to say near you. Every, it's going to fall upon everybody. All right. This is the global elite, elitist plan. <clears throat> you know, and as we always say, it's, it's the it's their NWO, man. It's the, it's the infrastructure for their NWO. All right. So let me just read this. Chicago Mayor Laurie Lightfoot, who is a, uh, a member of that alphabet team, openly... You know, she sees wicked as hell. On Wednesday, announced a new C-19 vaccine mandate for businesses in a city, saying at a press conference that un, un, unjuiced residents held the city's future in their hands. So basically, they're laying all the blame at the feet of those who don't want to take this uh, serpent's juice, man. Very, you know, that's why the scripture says, how's the things of Esau search that, man? And and I can say the heart is the heart is deep. Why? Because he knows exactly how to manipulate the populace, man. Now you've got us and them. You know, the, the ones that have taken the, the juice are now looking at the ones who haven't taken the, the juice as wicked, evil people who are condemning the world to de to death and destruction. You know, not realizing that they're being manipulated. Into the, you know to doing the the will of the uh, these demons, man. It says the new rules require a range of private establishments, including restaurants, bars, movie theaters, and fitness centers, <coughs> to begin demanding proof of um, juicing status. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say the words, man, because you know YouTube loves to jump all over this. It says from their customers who refuse and and to refuse service for those who haven't taken the juice. These are the places that are most risky places for spread, which is why we focused on them. Lightfoot, Lightfoot said at the press conference announcing the mandate, the order this order will remain in effect until the city deems that the threat of C19 to public health has diminished significantly. This thing is never going away as long as they can use it to manipulate. Uh, the laws and the people they're going to keep using it it's going to keep on going man and that's why Daniel's 8 uh, I can't remember the exact number of the verse but it says um, for his policies um, do you know I might have to get that but basically through their policies I don't want to butcher it but I'll just say how it, what it means but through their policies meaning through their laws you know they will use their laws to change uh, 
you know to change the to change uh, the way we live man you know and and using using peace as a uh, the excuse It says she added, talk to everybody you know who hasn't taken the juice. Our future is going to depend on whether they stop being hesitant to get the juice. It really depends on the actions that people take here and now. We are in another crisis. In a separate, in, and in a separate message published on Twitter, she addressed the unjuiced Americans saying their time was up. You hear that? That's a threat, man. Here it is, you're forcing medical... Uh, oh, well, I don't even know if it's medical. You're forcing this, uh, this on the people, man. That's that's unjust. All right. She says to put it. She says to put it simply. If you have been living uh, juice free, your time is up. If you wish to live as as with the ease to do the things you love, you must be juiced. This health order may pose an inconvenience to the unjuiced. And in fact, it is inconvenient by design. You hear that? So it's a plan. It's all it's all meant to make it hard for the people to continue to to refuse to take this thing, man. And that's what it's gonna boil down to at the end of the day. Because there's been a lot of people walking around talking how they're not gonna do this and not gonna do when it comes down to you not going to do anything at all, even buy your food and your your groceries, or whatever you want, your toiletries, blah blah blah. What are you gonna do then? Are you still gonna stand firm? You know, that's what I'm going to read on that. Look at this demon, man. May Yahweh Bashem was shy. Bring judgment swiftly on all these devils and these uh, servants to this beast system. All right. So, I've got a couple of scriptures of them. Get quickly. <coughs> Isaiah twenty four says the earth. Isaiah twenty four and four says the earth mourneth and fadeth away, the earth languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Verse five: The earth also is defiled under under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. And you're not supposed to be taking us as Israelites. I'm not supposed to be taking this man's concoctions man especially by way of of, of um injection all right you're not supposed to be you're not supposed to be doing that it says uh therefore have the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned of human left and understand that that burning is coming, man. I did a video on that earlier anyway. So it says, The new wine mourneth, and the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. Because the time for people are still living, you know, there's people walking around taking this this stuff, thinking that they're living their lives, man. But that's all going to cease for everybody. So it doesn't matter whether you take it or you don't. It's all going to come to a head where oppression is going to be a real thing. This man is not planning to make a future for you. He's planning to make a future for him and his elites. And you are just mere, here to be slaves to keep the cogs moving, man. And that joy is about to cease, man. You know, when they start locking everything down. Martial laws coming. You know, NATO troops and all of that. It says, they shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Yeah, because... You ain't going to be drinking anymore for celebrations and mirth, man. You're going to be drinking to drown your sorrows, man. If you can even get hold of, you know, wine and whatever you drink in these in these times to come, man. All right, you're going to be drinking to drown your sorrows. <coughs> the city of confusion is broken down. And that city's confusion is Babylon, all right. Hence the name Babylon comes from the word Babal, which means confusion. It says, every house is shut up that no man may come in. That's that martial law, man. There is a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. 
more repetition. You know, dark days are on their way. Yeah, I mean, what was this going to be? Uh, I'm going to make this too long, so I just want to just get the world to get in. Uh. <clears throat> All right, Daniel so, so, seven. I've started twenty three. Get to the point. It says, Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, <clears throat> which is this neo Roman empire which we are now living in under and in, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. All around you, that's what they're doing um, destroying the homes, destroying the family unit, destroying. Uh, masculinity and femininity destroying the body the soul and the mind with the television the drugs and the medicines and and and, and just the, the wickedness on this earth man and ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise and another shall ar ar and another shall rise after them and shall be diverse from the first and he sub subdue three kings because you got the ten horns <clears throat> all right uh, which is uh, uh the nato right it says uh and he shall speak great words against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high and to think and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times of the dividing of time so he at this moment in time he's doing this because he's being allowed to do this and he's changing the times and the laws, man. All right. That's exactly what he's doing right now. And this is exactly, you know, they've talked about this. The politicians and the, and the leaders of this earth have talked about that crisis that they were looking for to, to establish their NWO. <laughs> All right. He says, but judgment shall sit. And they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it until the end. So it's not going to last. He doesn't realise this. Right? He thinks he's about to set himself up forever. That's why the scriptures say his uh, inward thought is that his houses shall continue forever. It's not going to happen, man. That's his inward thought. That's his prideful thought. And the and the dominion and, and the so like and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. So our kingdom is going to be everlasting, not Esau's, but these damn devils, man. And all these all these slaves that are working, you know, these servants of these devil, right? Do, what do they think they're gonna gain from this, man? They're going to get cast away, cast to, to the wayside, man. Just like everybody else. You be, they're being used. That's why we call them puppets. And I'm just going to get here and get a couple one more after this one. Uh, where is it? Uh... Right, Daniel 8 and 23 says, And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. So this devil is about to raise up and show you what he's about, man. Alright. And people are going to be shocked, man. We're not going to be shocked. That's because we have, the, we have the knowledge already. We know what's happening around us. It's, you know, you, sometimes you have to sit back and, and just really see how amazing it is to know what we know and then the rest of the world hasn't got a clue. They can't even see it coming. You could write it down, take a picture, show them everything and they still wouldn't get it. So 
so it says, and by his and, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper, and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Because a lot of our people are going to fall into this trap, man. All right, taking the MOTB, you know, going along with this whole system, worshiping the beast. All right. Verse twenty-five. It says, and through his policy also, he shall ca cause craft to prosper in his hand. So using his laws, man, to, 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 get, to gain his control. He's doing that right now. And people, are, like I said, are just queuing up for it, man. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. And by peace shall destroy many. Oh, we've got to do this because, you know, you, you those of you who haven't taken the juice, you, you, you're keeping this going. And you, it's your fault why people are dying. And the most of you, and she even said... In her in her in her interview in her conference, that the majority of people in the hospitals are the ones that are not taking it, and that's the problem, man. These devils acting like they care about the people. We already know that the leaders of this country are having parties, celebrating without any, um, you know, without wearing any, any social distancing or wearing any sort of. Uh, uh, muscles on their faces so they don't care they're not scared so that piece they're using it to uh, to gain control or destroy many he also he shall also stand up against the prince of princes but he shall be broken without him so yeah how is coming back man the prince of princes the king of kings coming back man he's gonna put this put, an, put a stop to this madness man I'm going to get one more because I haven't read this in a while. It needs to come out, man. Because uh, this is what this is all about, man. This is what it's all about. What am I doing? <coughs> Revelation 13 11 it says, And I beheld another beast coming, out of the earth, coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and spake as a dragon. The two horns is that two. That two uh, party system, that two power, that two power system that they have in Babylon, man. All right, spoke all the same thing. That's why it says, "Come out of the earth." He had two horns, man. So they're, they're working for the same. Um, they're they're all working for Esau. He spoke as a dragon with, with wisdom. All right, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, which was that old Roman Greco Roman Empire. And causeth the earth and them which would which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Because this is just the, the resurgence, man, the resurrection of the old uh, Roman Empire. And he doeth great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in, in the sight of men. He's gonna use his technology to Alright, we'll read more. It says and, and deceive with them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live, right? So he's going to use the technology and whatnot to, to baffle people and to fool people and to, sh to get, give them this false sense of power. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Just said because there's going to be a few people outside of this. There's going to be some people outside of this truth that are still going to stand firm and be destroyed by this man because they don't want to they don't want to pander to his uh, wicked um, uh, system. But also, that's really talking about the saints, man, because the saints are going to have to. Um, some of the saints are going to have to die, man, refusing to fall under the spell of this. Uh, and lead and rulership of this, uh, this these wicked, this wicked kingdom, this wicked rulership. Verse sixteen, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, which is already being established, man. You got. And let me read seventeen first before I say what I was going to say. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You've got, like I said, man, they're building an infrastructure, they're setting up the shops now where you can walk in cashless. You know, a lot of countries are more or less going cashless China, Sweden, Norway, um, 
A lot of places in America are doing it. Even in the UK, there's certain places that they just don't take in money anymore. All right, because they want to, they want to establish this uh, this new world order, man, this beast system. All right, where everyone's gonna have to take the, that mark, man. All right, if you take the mark, and you you live under their oppression, or you don't take the mark, and you die, or they lock you up. Verse eighteen: Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. Who is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. And I like, and you know, and it says is, you know, you've got a lot of um, Christians that still don't understand that we're talking about a man. When it's talking about the devil, it's talking about a man, a deceiver. When it's talking about Satan, it's talking about the angel who, on the left hand side, works for Yahweh Shammai or Shai. And when you're talking about Lucifer, it just talks. That's once again talking about these uh, these elites, man, because they are the they are on this earth the light bearers, but in truth we are the light bearers, man. So you could call us Luciferians if you please. Don't let that mess you up, man. You have to understand what these words mean. All right, we have the real light, not them. Their light is not real light. It's darkness, man. All right. So anyway. That's it on that, you know. They're making their moves now. And they've kept these politicians, if you're not clocking what's going on all around the world, they're coming down hard now, all right? So 2022 is going to be very interesting indeed, man. You know, may Yahabar Shamir Shai come back soon and, and get us out of this place, man, and just put this devil where they're supposed to be under in, in, under subjection, all right? And in, 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 in under oppression, all right? And may, and may these wicked elites be destroyed, man, all right? So with that, I'll say Kahla Yahweh, Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, Ba Shem Kakudash, Shalom Wa Ba Ba. And also, I pray that also this was an edifying lesson. Also, with that, I'll say Shalom.